everyone, and thank you so much for tuning in to the Life of Divine Favor. Today, I'm going to be talking to up-and-coming emerging actor Jeremiah Cummings right here in Savannah, Georgia. So, get ready for an exclusive show on the Life of Divine Favor. It's the life Divine Favor. Hello and welcome to the Life of Divine Favor. I'm Divine Favor, your host, and today we're going to be talking to an up-and-coming and emerging actor by the name of Jeremiah Cummings. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. All right. Listen, this gentleman right here is really doing it in Savannah, Georgia, and so we're going to talk a little bit with him about what he's up to these days. So can you tell us a little bit about where you're from, where you were born? Well, I've been born right here in Savannah, Georgia, all my life. Uh, my family's there from Glenville, Georgia, a small town in Georgia, but I'm a city boy, born and raised. Okay, very <laughs> good. So he considers Savannah City, y'all. I say it's country, because I'm from D.C., so I say this is country. He say it's city. I say I'm from the city, so I guess we uh, beg to differ, right? Yeah, you've seen Glenville, you'll see why I say this is a city. Oh, wow, Glenville. Okay, so this must be a really small town in what a county? Very small town. It's in Tampa County. Oh, okay. I've never even heard of that, guys. Very okay, small. so. One traffic light. Wow. <laughs> okay, so tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, as I say, and she introduced me, I'm Jeremiah Cummins, born here in Savannah, Georgia. Uh, son of Reverend John Henry Cummins, or the late Reverend John Henry Cummins. Um, he had a church back in Glenville, Georgia, which he, where he pastored at. And he has have two other brothers and a sister. Okay. All right. Sounds like a pretty big family. It is pretty big. Okay. Pretty and big. you are a father of how many? I have four beautiful children. All right. Well, grown folks almost, huh? Yeah. <laughs> They almost grown. Yeah, they're keeping I know. me young, that's for sure. They're keeping you young. That's right. That's right. <laughs> right. Run, run with the young folks, they say. Okay, I don't know that's how right. much running, you know, but we'll, you know, anyway. So, <laughs> um, when did you discover that you were interested in the film industry? You know, as a child, I always wanted to, I always wanted to know about movie magic. I used to watch the shows, behind the scenes shows, and I always wanted to know, how do they do that? Okay. So as growing up, I always still wondered. Then I finally got a break to actually be on set and I was really excited. So I started off doing background work and just to see the inside of what's going on. Yeah. And I was amazed. I was excited. I felt like a kid in a candy store just oh, wow. being on set. <laughs> there were so many moving parts and people doing this job and doing that job. And I was like, wow, this is, this is how everything's done. Yes, and that's where I met Jeremiah um, the, the, on the set of a couple of movies that we actually were both in. Um, I think it was The Act is where I met you. Right. Um, and we, we were both in the series The Act. And um, I think it's, that's uh, Hulu, correct? Yep. Yeah, it was on Hulu. Hulu. I think it was last year. Um, I played a female jail inmate, and you played... I played a police officer. Yeah. Officer <laughs> Ain't that something? The the inmate <laughs> and the officer. Wow. That's right. And uh, take we, me to jail. Yeah. Oh, oh no, don't take me to jail. <laughs> don't take me to jail. You know, whatever. But um it was really exciting to see um all of what was in the background, uh the different cameras, how they changed this, how we had to do the same That's uh right. set over and over and over and That's over right. and over again. Um, you know, or whatever, but they treated us pretty well, um, I believe, on, on both movie sets. And we were also in, um, what's the name of the film? The, the, the Underground Railroad. The Underground Railroad, which it's should still be... Is, still in pre-production right now. Yeah, it time. hasn't come out yet, so I'm excited to see how we look there because yeah. I got the opportunity to be your wife in yeah. that one. <laughs> the doctor's wife. Yeah. <laughs> well, you yeah. know, you know. Hey, you know, and, and you know, <laughs> me to have a the younger gentleman as my husband on the set that was really like amusing because I don't you know like really younger men like ah. but, but you know it, it played really well and even though we was in those hot slave clothes yes. <laughs> and that makeup 
and everything. It was really cool and exciting. Uh, and uh, Jeremiah was a true gentleman on the set, and he really kind of helped me because I was still uh, learning, you know, the ropes. He had been on a little bit more than I had, and we're going to talk a little bit about some of the projects that he has been on. So that we named two that we've been on together, and That's then um, we have it's an upcoming one in Atlanta. I guess that would be later this year. Uh, I'm thinking probably. <laughs> 2021 yeah somewhere. yeah well we're, we're supposed to both be on that so we'll we'll get everything you know together Stay tuned on that one. yeah <laughs> just just hold <laughs> hold your breath on that one. i believe that you know the coronavirus uh and uh you know COVID 19 caused a lot of delays in the film and, and movie industries it also caused a lot, a lot of delays for people like me that are artists and things That's like right. that so we've kind of had a rough year <laughs> this year yeah yes we have yes we have Everybody being safe. Yeah, I hope Wear your so. mask. Yes, wash make, your make hands. sure. Yes, twenty seconds. Please. Wash the hands and all of those too things. Much going out in the world. Too it is. Here. It is, and the numbers are actually still growing here yes, in yeah. Georgia and in Chatham County too. So we we need to be very careful with yes, that. Yes, very. Yeah, yeah. But we're safe here though. Just oh yeah, we're, we're we are. Here. We are most definitely safe here. Uh, and Jeremiah is a is a friend of mine, and so I don't believe that he has the corona. So, but if he if he starts coughing on this set, y'all y'all gonna see. I don't me. know if I. <laughs> I'm going to kick him off my set. No, I'm just joking, though. Uh, but um, tell, tell me a little bit about some of the commercials you've been on. Well, I did one recently with um, pro golfer um, Bubba Watson. Okay. It was a MetLife commercial. That should be airing pretty soon. All right. Met but that Life. was exciting, be on the golf court. They some filmed it down there in Jacksonville, so... Wow, Jacksonville. Nice. Okay, cool. It was, we've been on set probably about maybe 10 hours. It was, it was a long shoot. Wow. And it started raining. Then the sun <laughs> came out, kind of burned us up a little bit. But we got through the set. But it was it was nice just to meet him. He was a pretty good guy. Wow, okay. Well, what, um, you were also in Parker's Kitchen? Yes. I recently <laughs> did another Parker's commercial. So yeah. it was like, it was pretty good. Just different ways to eat a chicken sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I had my... Share free sandwiches on set, must I say? It was wow. a very good sandwich. <laughs> Parker, you did your thing on that sandwich. It's really good. Y'all should go out and get y'all one. Wow, really wow. You know what? It, it looked good. It was good. It, it really looked good, especially yeah. the first, you know, flash of the sandwich. I was like, I need to go to Parker's Kitchen and, you know, get that. Because I kind of like Parker's Kitchen anyway because um, they have really good fish. And, you know, I get I go and get the breakfast sometime when I'm just lazy and don't feel like cooking for yeah. myself. I go down to Parker's Kitchen and we got one not too far from, from here. It's pretty good, I think. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Courtney and Jillian at Media uh, Stafford Media Group for okay. giving me a shot for that. And for I hope I, I hope the Stafford Media Group picks me up, Miss Divine Favor or Kimberly, however you want to see it. Uh, Courtney. I hope you got Courtney. Okay, well Courtney I reached out Jillian. to Courtney, but I hope Courtney sees this, and I hope Courtney calls me on them for some some type of commercial. I mean, I can do pretty much anything, you know. But anyhow, but um, so what what else did you do? I know you did something with I think it's. Black Lightning? Yeah, I had a, a chance to work beside the legendary Wayne Brady. Yes. Black Lightning. So Ooh, that yes. was a treat just meeting him. And he's a real genuine human being. He really? really is. So yes. he, he talk, did he talk to you guys or was he kind of like standoffish? No, nah, he was just a regular guy. You know, he just never been standoffish. He introduced himself. Wow. Shook my hand and Hey, yeah, that's all right. With him and we got we did it professionally, you know. Yeah, I was a big fan, but I stayed professional. So, hey, you know what? Just the fact that he even bothered to shake you guys' hands and yeah. thank you for being on the set and those type of things, you know, that means a lot actually. Oh, yeah. Because you know, a lot of times when they reach a certain level, you know, of celebrity. Um, they don't want to talk to the, the little people, so, the, uh, <laughs> so to right. say, That's yeah, right. you know. So I love to see that in celebrities that that know where they came from, and they they haven't gotten so far beyond, you know, that they can't communicate mm -hmm. uh, with with mm -hmm. us regular folks. I guess you could say, but That's you know, right. you up and coming actor, and I'm That's looking right. forward to see what else is coming up for you. You know, I'm very excited for you. I'm very proud of you. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you. You know, and from one friend to, to another, you know, I, I just, it gives me joy to see you achieving 
your goals of, of wanting to be, you know, this huge movie star, hopefully one day soon, right? Yeah, you know, maybe about <laughs> five years, ten years down the line, y'all hey, seeing stars. So, you know yeah. what? And, and that's exactly how I feel. You know, I feel like we should just keep striving uh, at what we do and, 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 and love what we do and be dedicated to what we do. And people will see that and they'll welcome you aboard to, to up and more up and coming and That's moving right. projects and things of that nature. So that brings me to my next question. Where do you see yourself in five years? Well, five years, I see myself helping other upcoming actors to achieve their goals. Maybe okay. start doing maybe some classes and sharing knowledge. Yes. Because it's, it's not work out there for everybody. You yeah. don't have to be a supermodel or a beauty model or muscular guy to be in the film industry. All right. You can just be a regular Joe, as long as you know how to act, willing to do the work, yeah. take the classes, All right. and learn. And that, that's and all that's it takes. That, and being genuine. Yeah, that's a good thing. You know, you just said something. Um, those young people who are inspiring to get into the film industry or even into music, take classes, take mm -hmm. acting classes, um, invest in film. They have so many opportunities out there for the young people now. Uh, co even college level things, they have uh, so many opportunities, so many That's grants, right. so many scholarships. So if you're interested in getting anything, there will be a couple of links uh, uh, connected to this um, show that you guys can, can invest in and look into. Just click the link and it'll lead you uh, to a new world in film. Uh, and we have uh, Savannah Tech right here that has a film right. filming uh, industry class um, that I'm actually like thinking about doing because it kind of uh, will enhance what I'm doing with the life of divine favor, I feel, and maybe even beyond that, you know, who knows what the future holds, right? Yes, we got SCAD down here. It has a big program, so yeah, you don't want to go to SCAD. <laughs> they have a huge film program. SCAD? Yes. Wow. You know, some of the best have come out of SCAD. Yes, they have. Some of the best. And I and I really think that um, SCAD is a very good opportunity uh, for our young people who are uh, artists or in the arts or whatever. I mean, they're a very unique group of young people that come out of SCAD. Um, and so that's, that's, that's a great opportunity. Yeah, they got film makers, directors. Yeah. Yeah, you got... Um, Sound crews, just all kind of people come out of SCAD. So it's a lot of, a lot of opportunity through SCAD. Yes, indeed. And you know what? I am, I am looking forward to the opportunity to maybe also help young people with music um, and training them in vo vocals and things of that nature in the near future um, right now. But um the last question I have for you is, if you never made it to Hollywood, mm -hmm. would you be satisfied with the career that you have? Absolutely. I mean, I'm not in it to be an A-lister. I'm just happy just to be in the industry, doing the work, meeting people, networking, because that goes a long way. You can have fame without being famous. All right. I like that. You can have fame without being famous. Because um, a lot of young people, they see the glamour in That's film right. and they see the glamour in being on stage and they see the money and they think that that's what it's all about. And it's kind of right. a way where they try to like hook you and just, you know, yeah, will you right it. on in. And then yeah, when exactly. they get on the other side, they realize it's not exactly what they thought. And it's a lot of, um, you know, any anything you go into, there's a lot of good and there's a lot of bad. Uh, in in the industry, um, and as you see it on the sets, do you feel like you've been treated well being being a part of different projects on the set, uh, or do you feel like you've been treated kind of like the underdog? I've been treated pretty good. The uh, second ads, which the ones that you know really do the groundwork while you're on set, and make sure you where you're supposed to be at. Yeah, I mean everybody on set treats you real good, even. Craft services, just the drivers that take you back and forth to set. So everybody do their job, make do it professionally, treat you right, and encourage you. All right. And I kind of feel the same way. Um, I felt they treat us very well on the set of the um, the underground. 
yeah. railroad. Yeah. Uh, they fed us well, um, you know, and I, I think it was a really great experience and it's something that I, you know, would, you know, tell my grandchildren about the experiences and things that I have. Now, he, you've been in uh, doing film and commercials for how many years? This is my second year doing this. Okay. I'm so you still, you still, every, you still, I'm still a student of the game. Yeah. I'm still a student. I'm always learning. <laughs> yeah. More to grow. Well, look, I'm right behind you. I, I recently got interested in film like two years ago also okay. when I met you. Um, on the that was like my first time, you know, being on the set of an actual film. Now I've been in a documentary movie before, but the, it was nothing compared to the sets that we were on uh, with some major writers and uh, filmmakers. You know, that have gotten awards and things of that nature. We had an opportunity to be there, right with those people. So it was, you know, and in hopes that one day we get a lead part and right. a lead role. You know, and I know that's one of your goals. Right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And shouts yeah. out to Barry Jenkins for giving us the opportunity to be on the Underground Railroad. Thank you, Barry. Appreciate you. Thank you so Appreciate much. Appreciate you. Thank you. Really, I, I can't wait to see the film to see how I it know. turned out. I can't wait. Yeah, we had, it was real possums uh, on the on the <laughs> <laughs> uh, roasted possums and all kind of stuff. Well, it was pretty cool. Yeah. But um, nevertheless, I thank you so much for coming on the show and talking uh, with everyone and sharing your experiences uh, no with the audience. And um, they're going to see more and more of you uh, very soon, I believe. I truly believe that. That's right. We got a few <laughs> more future projects coming out. Um, can't really get in depth about them, but one of them I play a businessman, CEO type guy. Named Mr. Wilson, and another one I'll be playing a detective named Mr. Um, Wilson. So names are similar but different characters. I'm a detective and I'm a businessman. So oh I'm yeah, two more projects oh, coming out. You know what? I forgot about those. Um, Mr. You said the detective, Mr. Holmes, Mr. Wilson, Mr. Wilson, Mr. Wilson. Okay, detective, okay. Detective Wilson. Well. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a little <laughs> tiny oopsie weensy part in, in that film also yep. uh, coming up. At first, he was going to be my TV husband again, but then they switched the roles, so yeah. we don't get to be husband and wife again unless they decide to switch it back again. But that's right. what it was, was supposed to be originally for this upcoming film. So anyhow, we're going to end up in the same set again, and so it's just been a pleasure working with you. And I thank you so much for appearing on the Life of Divine Favorite TV thank show. Thank you for having me. Thank Been you. The treat. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So um, you guys tune in for the next taping. Uh, we'll we'll be having um, Mr. James Washington, um, who is going through a discriminant a discrimination uh, suit against um, a local Savannah restaurant. So we're going to see that's going to be a very interesting show. And I'd like to thank all of you, my fans and supporters, for those who pulled in messages, uh, who wrote me, who sent in uh, uh, bereavement gifts and all those things. I don't want to start naming people because I, I may forget someone, but I just want to give a general thank you uh, due to the loss of my mother who passed away, um, I guess, four weeks ago. Um, you know, I had not been, you know, taking or doing anything, just preparing for, uh, you know, to prepare her service correctly. And it uh, has been a very difficult situation for me. But uh, those who have known me for years know that I'm a trooper and I just keep pushing on and pressing on. Now. Uh, so this is the first taping since the passing of my mother, Ms. Clementine Scott Clark. And I just want to dedicate this show to my mom. And I love you, Mom. And I thank you, Miss, for being on the show. Thank okay. you. God bless you. And I hope that you have much success. Same again. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Divine favor. Divine favor. Divine favor. Divine favor. Divine favor.